Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of other categories as well, including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice. Whenever I announce giveaways, there is always a secret password giveaway away going on as a form of subscriber appreciation and of course whenever I go live. Now as always if you are already subscribed thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have one of my favorite book subscriptions probably one of my favorite subscriptions period and that is the amazing authentic books and it has been sent to me for review. I have said it in every unboxing I think but I will say it again what I love about this subscription is how customizable it is. So every month you get to choose from one of two or three novels. I think for the last few months it has actually been three so a variety of genres something to suit every taste and then you decide if you are going to do the mini full or premium boxes which are priced at 39 49 and 59 respectively plus shipping I believe the shipping is still around nine dollars if you are interested in subscribing at any of those tiers you can save 10% using the code noel 10 which I will leave for you in the description box below obviously with each tier you receive a few more amazing items that have been curated to go along along with your chosen novel. And of course, there's always add-on options too. So if you can't quite decide between two books, you can get both of them and you just kind of choose the primary book that your box is going to be built around. So in the mini box, you of course get your chosen book. You get a nice custom bookmark. You get a Spotify playlist. You get a self-care or touch item because the items are built around the idea of experiencing the novel through all five senses, as well as an authentic book's original candle. And then of course, in the level up above that, the full box, you get all of those things. They add an extra self-care or touch item for a total of two, and you get to choose a lovely beverage. It used to be a premium tea or a cocktail mixer and sometimes she also gives you a coffee option which is very exciting too. I think that might be moving forward we get that coffee option so three different beverage choices because of course you need a nice beverage to go along with your reading and then of course in the premium box which if you can swing it that is what I have to share with you today. I That is what I highly suggest because really this kind of winds up being like a lifestyle box that goes along with a great read. Then you will receive all of the items that you would receive in the full box of course plus Plus a third self-care or touch item and some amazing premium chocolate and she finds such great companies to work with. I just love that this uh, box that Natisha has created has really taken off. They're doing all kinds of extra limited edition boxes but what I just really always come back to is how great every monthly box is. Now you guys know if you've been watching my book box unboxings I am super far behind. I actually have some boxes, some books that are from July of 2021 so I have uh, decided I'm going to try to kind of just do that a year behind and get through my July 2021 boxes for this month and then slowly I will get caught up and hopefully I will be caught up for you guys in the new year. I was thinking I was going to get through all of them uh, by the end of this year but I just don't see that in the cards. So let's go ahead and get into this one and see what I chose. This should be the June box. Yes it is. So we get this nice little booklet. Now she used to do the uh recipe as well as the cocktail recipe on a separate card but now she's putting it into this little magazine which I just keep tucked into the book itself. The book is probably going to be at the bottom of the box just for packing purposes. That always makes the most sense and they do donate 5% of your subscription, your membership to the adopted classroom foundation supporting children's education and their educators. I just think that is so great. Any box that does any form of give back I think is really really nice and it has been this particular organization for quite some time now. So this is volume 51 so it's only been around for a few years but of course she is putting together two to three boxes each month because there are two to three book choices. So I went back to uh, you know my wheelhouse and went with a thriller for this month. For a while I've been choosing more like contemporary fiction. Uh, one of the Girls by Lucy Clark is what I what I went with. So nice thriller, sounded really good to me. I will definitely read the blurb to you. 
So now inside, what's really nice is she had, kind of has it color coded. So not only is there a key at the top of each of the items telling you which of the senses it is speaking to, it also tells you which ones are in the mini box. Then you add on, you would also get these items in the full box and then you add on and you would also get these items in the premium box. There's usually a little note now from Natisha. The editor's note says, how's the weather out there for y'all? It's steamy hot here in Orlando, Florida, but keeping busy with books and a summer bucket list with our little girls. I, she's like a busy mom and she puts this box together and she puts the candles together. It's pretty amazing. She also has a Meet the Makers page now, which I think is cool. Here is our book playlist. Used to be like on a little business card size thing, which I always lost. So I like that it's a little bit easier for me to hold on to. Here is our book cocktail and our story eats. So, ooh, espresso martinis. That's be still my heart. That sounds delicious right now. And then for food, because I think this kind of has like a Greek theme to it. We have a fried feta cheese saganaki. So basically it's like fried cheese, which, you know, I'm definitely, um, definitely uh, something I would like to eat right now. All right, so I'm gonna keep this in front of me so I can tell you a little bit more about the products. Um, mine got a little bit torn up, but that's okay. It's usually just because they put the candle that is created for the book in its own little box, and sometimes that kind of moves around. Um, I think when they first created the bigger Authentic Books box, they didn't uh, know that they were always gonna have this candle box in here. But I love the candle box because it is super cute because it always says, it's about to get lit or rare. <laughs> so um, I don't think she includes the matches anymore. I used to love getting the matches because that's something I like never have on hand, but I'm okay with that. So let's take a look at our hand poured soy candle. Of course, this is for the sense of smell and this is going to be in all of the boxes regardless of size. So this is an Agos or Aegis. It says it has notes of juicy blood orange and sweet mint. Our candles are always hand stirred and poured in the authentic book studio using non-toxic ingredients. Yes, so probably a ghost, like a G and C is what I'm guessing. So happy to give this a smell. We've got some little crystals in there. This smells really good. It's kind of fruity. So yes, it's juicy blood orange and sweet mint, but it's not too minty for those of you who kind of find mint to be like too strong of a scent. That's lovely. The candle scents that she has put together are on point. They are so good. I'm all, I always look forward to that. Now I try so hard to wait to enjoy the products because a lot of the times they actually are associated with a certain page in the book. Um, but that doesn't happen in my house because you know that my husband and I both love our candles. So the candle will probably get used first. All right, let's see if I can find um, something else that is in the mini box that everybody gets. So our touch or self-care item for this time is a cognac sponge, which these are great. I love these for a little bit of light exfoliation. This is from Spa Sister. It says cleanse and renew natural antioxidant and detoxifying cognac sponges gently cleanse the skin, extra gentle and naturally pH balanced. The cognac sponge delicately yet thoroughly cleanses all skin types. And that is something I found they're like hard to start with. You have to let them kind of sit in the um, running water for like two minutes maybe, and then they get really soft and they feel really good but they don't like scratch the way like exfoliators do like you don't feel like the dermabrasion happening they just feel like a nice sponge which is my preference all right so moving on so there was yes three choices for the taste and now the taste option of course is in the full boxes and premium boxes there was the cocktail mix the coffee or tea Ooh, the coffee sounded good it was uh sweet and intense with aromas of citrus vanilla and chocolate so i usually get the cocktail mix and it is in this little bubble mailer which usually i can open up with my hand but i'm gonna go ahead and cheat and use my scissors today since I have them handy. The tea was from Anthea Organics and it was a organic calm blend that ships from Greece. So there is our, our Greek theme. In fact, let's have Greece be our secret password for today. So if you're not familiar, when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you wanna enter it along with your contact information in the Google form that is linked for you in the description box below. At the end of the month, I go through and use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box. Last month, I sent out eight. It's probably looking like even more this time around. So the more passwords you find, the more entries you get, the more your chances are to win. It is my way of saying thank you for being a subscriber and for watching my videos. You do have to be 18 years or older. You do have to have a US or Canadian mailing address. It is not associated with YouTube or Authentic Books or any of the other boxes that I open here on the channel. Just my way of saying thank you so much. So we got the Cheeky Espresso Syrup. This was what I was hoping for because usually the cocktail mixer goes 
goes along with the chosen cocktail recipe. So this is definitely something that I did not already have in my bar, which is very well stocked nowadays, thanks to Authentic Books. I usually wait until I know that I'm gonna be able to use it, because usually when you open up these syrups, you have to use them within a certain amount of time. So I have to find a time where I'm okay with like, staying up a little bit later, because I'm gonna have a nice uh, espresso martini at the end of the evening. Oh, sounds so good right now, you guys. So it's the limited edition espresso syrup sourced from Cafe Integral, or Integral. <laughs> uh, awesome, I'm super into it, so. This makes me like, I always want to make these uh, books as I get these boxes, skip to the front of the line, of course. Let's see, I think we have another um, self-care or touch item for the full and premium boxes, which is this, yes, Mediterranean Lemon Spray. Ooh, refreshing beauty laboratory. You know me, I love any lemon scent and it's always like nice to just kind of refresh yourself with citrus. Citrus also kind of wakes you up nicely. Not maybe as much as espresso, but certainly a little bit. It says, would you like to spend your day as if you're picking lemons from the trees in a Mediterranean garden? If your answer is yes, this cologne is for you. It combines the freshness of bergamot and lemon with the enchanting notes of petite grain. It says other secrets include base notes of sandalwood, white musk, and praline. Yes, that sounds awesome. So a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of depth with that uh, with that musk. I bet it smells awesome. I'm gonna see if I can uns uh, give it a little sniff. It looks like kind of empty, doesn't it? It looks like maybe there was a little bit of leakage. Even though there's a plastic wrap, it was just around the actual spray part, so it wouldn't come through that little little hole. Ooh, that smells good. It does smell like a perfume more so than like a refresher spray, um, but it may have like evaporated just a little tiny bit. It might have some like alcohol in there, um, but no matter, it's gonna last for a while because a little, little will do you well on that one. And then next we have, ooh, this is so, so perfect for this theme. Look at this with our, our like evil eye, evil eye olive soap. So this is just in the premium boxes by Nye Gifts. It says natural olive oil soap in a metal box, evil eye design. Imagine your way in the Greek islands with this soap made with all natural ingredients. Ooh, when I opened it, there was like soap dust, you guys. So it's like lavender colored. I don't know if it's lavender scented. The one in the image is actually in blue. Ooh, smells really good. It doesn't necessarily smell lavender-y, but it smells really nice. It smells like a good soap, but it definitely kind of rattled around in there in the tin. So I definitely have some soap dust. So hopefully it doesn't make me uh, get caught choked up here. And then for our premium chocolate, taste number two, that is only in the premium boxes. Of course, chocolate is something that you can add on to the mini or the full boxes if you don't want to miss out. It says, Eat it like Greek gods, ambrosia, 42% milk chocolate with white honey. So this is for all of you who are always like, why does she always do dark chocolate? She does milk chocolate sometimes as well. And this is actually the company that was featured in the little booklet this time around. It says, according to Greek mythology, ambrosia was responsible for granting the gods and goddesses immortality. Records show it tastes like slightly like honey, although some ancient writers speculate that it's actually eight or nine times sweeter. It was said that once you started to consume it, you couldn't stop so immortality yes seems like it would be something rather addictive although once you got it then you got it right um pretty excited about chocolate you guys i've gone through all of my chocolate chocolate's always one of those things it's a little bit like scary to uh send um so it's just this little like bar it came in this little like wrapper i'm really excited that it came in a little um wrapped up uh, container as well because usually my boxes come a little bit bent up so um, if I were taking photos of it I would be taking photos of it in that little envelope instead so now we finally get to our book which of course is down here at the bottom let me uh, go ahead and put this chocolate away so that I don't make a mess of it it is a nice hefty hardback because she's usually getting books like right after their release so that's one of the other really nice things is that you get to choose your books so you're gonna make sure that you don't get duplicates which is sometimes an issue with the book boxes where it's a surprise but also um, you're also getting getting them first hot off the presses so it's a pretty hefty book I will say just like the thickness of it well I just I just love these you guys let me see if I can find my bookmark I didn't actually see my bookmark this time around Maybe it's in the book, or maybe it's just missing, hmm, because they usually have like a lovely tassel to go stick out of the binding. I don't actually see my bookmark. It might be missing from this one, which is going to make me so sad, you guys. It's going to make me so sad, but 
I can always reach out and ask. Now inside, this is one of the other cool features because she works with the publishers. We do have a nice signed book plate to go in there. She's got quite the signature. And then we do have an author's note, uh, again, written by Lucy Clark. So it's like this on one side and then right here she has it typed. So let me go ahead and read this to you first. It says, Dear readers, I am thrilled that one of the girls has landed on your doormat. I had more fun writing this book, my seventh psychological thriller than any novel to date. I loved stepping into the complicated lives of these six women. They felt as real to me as great friends and I came to care about them all deeply, even the badly behaved ones. The setting of a remote Greek island is very personal to me as I have family on the island of Kos, so our childhood holidays were always spent there. I love the sun-drenched heat of Greece, the fresh, flavorsome foods, yes, the food there is amazing, and the stonewashed beauty of the architecture. It felt like the ideal setting for one of the girls, all that light and wild beauty becoming the perfect stage for friendships to turn brittle and crack open. I love hearing from readers, so do let me know what you think of the novel. You can find me on Facebook or Instagram. That is so cool. How fun would that be to like reach out to the author and then maybe she writes back to you? I really hope you enjoy holidaying with one of the girls. This sounds like like the perfect vacation read. So oh, just look at that beautiful image, one of those like seaside pools looking out at the ocean and then you can kind of see that like cracked window there. Mm, so good. All right, let me go ahead and read the uh, little blurb to you or the little jacket. So it says, one of us is a liar, one of us is a stranger, one of us is a cheater, but which one of us is a killer? It was supposed to be the perfect weekend get weekend away. Six very different women travel to a sun-drenched Greek island for a bachelorette party. From the shimmering ocean views to the quaint tavernas and whitewashed streets, the vacation feels like the ideal escape, but dangerous undercurrents run beneath the sunset swims and midnight cocktails because each of the women is hiding a secret, and soon their masks begin to slip. Some Someone is determined to make sure that Lexi's marriage will never happen and that one of the women doesn't leave the island alive. This scorching thriller signals the arrival of a major breakout talent. One of the girls examines the pressures and joys of female friendship as well as the deadly consequences when a relationship goes wrong. Mm, that sounds good and like so relatable, right? Because that totally happens. We always go on these like girls trips and then, you know, when you get a lot of women together, there's going to be a little bit of tension. It's just going to normally happen because I feel like it's more natural for us to sort of like pair off or even be in groups of three. So when you have any more than like three people, I feel like there's a little bit of, you know, fractioning that's bound to happen at some to some degree so again this is a pretty pretty hefty one now mine oh this is such a bummer so yes I think that this little guy had a little bit of spillage because you can see there is some like water damage on some of my pages which no matter you know I can still read the pages they don't seem like they're stuck together but it was a nice new novel for sure and then um yeah we did get a little bit of water damage but it looks like it's pretty good otherwise the like book jacket isn't torn or anything so I'm totally fine with it again she does send this to me for review so I am so grateful for this opportunity and I just would be really grateful for the opportunity to do some major reading this summer but that again this sounds like something that I might have to go ahead and skip to the front of the line and save some of the save some of the other stuff for fall so going over everything we got one of the girls let me know in the comments below if you chose this or one of the other options for June we got the cognac sponge and the hand poured soy candle which smells so so good then we had the choice between the cocktail mix the coffee or the tea I of course got the cocktail mix which I'm excited because it is to make that espresso martini we got our Mediterranean lemon spray a little bit of leakage but you know it'll kind of just remind me when I'm reading the book after I've already used a bunch of the lemon spray where it came from I wonder if that made my pages smell good I think it did. I think it like perfumed my book. So it's going to be very evocative as I read through it. We got our evil eye olive oil soap in this really pretty tin. And then finally the milk chocolate and honey bar from Eat It Like. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Would you want to read this novel? It sounds pretty good. Let me know if you've gone on any uh, fun girls trips, whether or not they were disastrous. Hopefully there weren't any like disasters like the ones here in, in this book. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please help me out with a thumbs up. I would really enjoy it. If you got to this point and you didn't find that secret password, head on back. Make sure you find it and enter it in the Google form in the comments below. And I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.